and in today I'm going to show you how to make an HTML site on webs.com. So the first thing you want to do is go to webs.com and sign up and when the layout panel pops up just make sure you click on HTML only you'll see it. Okay so you can pause this video here if you need to do that and so here we resume. So after you have created your website it should just look like this have your name and everything you should just have an index.htm file so if you just have that file you can go and take a look at that it's gonna look somewhat like this or less because I edited mine okay so you can add you can go ahead and add a new page I added an example page because I was just doing another video but I needed to redo it because there was a epic music advertisement playing and it got in the way the whole time so I made an example that HTML and I'll be glad to make a new page for you guys and show you how I made that so the after you add a new page it's gonna say that HTM change that to HTML and we're gonna call this page HTML and just click add page okay so now we have all these pages but you guys should only have an index so I'm just gonna be working with these two pages for you guys so after you just added your HTML page, um, you're going to want to go into that and it's going to be completely blank. It's it's so ghetto looking. It's so old. It's just HTML is like dead language pretty much. Well, this is really old. H this is HTML like 1.0, so it's old. So, oh, uh, sorry. Um, you guys can, see, I'm just going to paste these links. I'll explain. These are all the links to my other pages, and I'll show you what they look. I'll show you what I mean really quick, so you guys know what I mean. I'll just go to the site. Um, these links are for. I don't know why this is going so slow. Sorry about that, guys. So these links are these up here. You have to make your own links since it's HTML, it's all custom. But these links work. I don't know why my internet is going so slow, but these links are up here. Okay. Alright. So let's go back. And um, to get those links, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a new set just to show you guys in my HTML folder on my page. I'm sorry for loading so slow hey guys sorry about that my Google, my Google Chrome just like ran my internet just like randomly goes slow so I switched to Safari even though I really hate it it was the only one that was loading quick enough okay so like I was talking about we have I was gonna show you the links so in um, your index.html, it's going to be pretty much blank for you guys. So in our HTML, it is, it's also blank. So um, to get these links, this is what you want to do. Um, I'm just going to paste them right here. Um, to how I got these, I'm not going to save this right now, but I'm going to show you. Like for my first one, I just typed in links. This is how you're going to do it, like how to get this like this. So just highlight links. Or whatever want whatever the name of the page you want, hyperlink it. One of my files, and I would link it to links.html and click create link. So that's how you do that. It's really simple. So I'm gonna leave that up at the top of the page, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make my header. So header one, and I'm gonna write um, Okay, so up here I'm gonna wanna I have to have to add an HTML link for you because I didn't add that. My bad. So just wanna copy. If you, it's easier if you just copy all the links and you just paste them at the top of every page. So. I know it takes a really long time to do all this, 
but in the end it's just fun to look at, you know. So I'm just gonna update all of them with the new link. Cause I might as well. So just give me one second. This is what you guys are gonna have to do anyway, so you might as well go ahead and do that right now. Um See, this is why uh, HTML isn't really used that often in website creating. It's all about CSS now. So, most people are using CSS to edit websites because it's a lot more like, better looking and all that. So, I just have to put it on this page and then that's it. And save. Okay, now I can go see what my site looks like. Just click on any of the pages. This is what it'll look like if you're in Safari. Um, it'll say Ryan HTML. It's my site's name, Ryan HTML webs.com. And so far, this is what I have. So, links would bring you to links. Blog would bring you to like the little blog. The home screen will bring you to this. What I edited in my other video. I sh I'll show you how to change your font after this. By example, I don't know why that's there. It was an accident. My example screen, which I made in my last one, I'll show you how to do this. And my HTML is what I just made. So you can X that out. And I'm going to show you how to edit and add a paragraph form on the bottom. So you can run right underneath your header, you're going to type in arrow p arrow. And right, this is my HTML. Paragraph form. End that with an arrow slash p arrow. And you can save that. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm going to show you how to change a font. So you can go back into your HTML. And let's just change font of HTML. So you're going to want to go into font name. Let's just change that to um, Comic Sans font size. Let's change that to medium. And then we can click save. Okay, so now we can go visit our site. Just click on any of the links. And as you can see, now the font has been changed. Um, so yeah, HTML is a very, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's a very original. It's all you. Like, if you really just want to make a website without any templates, just completely plain, easy, easy to read, easy to look at, and like I like making HTML because it's completely original and it's just all my work and not anybody else's who created layouts and I know it's really bad looking but some people like me like it so that's all how to make HTML thank you for watching